My name is Amy Christian and I work at Dwight Foster Public Library. And today we're going to be discussing our caregiver kits. These are kits that are specific to people who have memory loss or are in a stage of dementia. We would love to have you check out one of our kits. Our kits can be checked out for eight weeks. We have five of them. We have home life, patriotism, TV and music favorites, on the farm, and our last one that I'm going to be talking about is the travel kit. Before we start, I'd really like to talk about and give you some tips on how to use and facilitate activities that are in the kits. Our first tip is to identify an activity. What do they enjoy? Ask them or think to yourself, are they artistic? Do they love to travel? Do they love to read? Baking, gardening, music, nature. Think about all the things that they did enjoy throughout their life. Step number two, or tip number two, is to set up the environment for the activity. Another thing to ask yourself is, where in a room should I set this up? Do I need to remove objects? Do I need to leave room for movement of what we're going to be doing with that activity? Tip number three, introduce the activity. By doing this, be calm. Don't force them. Make things simple and just use conversation and encouragement. Number four, enhance engagement. Initiate and assist them when needed. Use nonverbal cues or verbal cues, such as what should we do next? Or pointing possibly. Avoid correcting them and just simplify things and encourage and have a great conversation. So those are our tips to use during these activities. And now I'm gonna go through with you what is in the travel caregiver kit. So the first thing that we have in the caregiver kit is our caregiver's guide to dementia. And this is by Laura Giltland and she's a doctor. And in this book has some of the tips that I was telling you, but also has way more information than that. So this is just a guide uh, for you to use and to look through um, for you to have all different ideas of how to engage with that person that you're caring for, your loved one. That's the first item. The second item in our kit is Puzzle With Me. And this one's a cute little dog. Uh, he's a little cutie. The puzzle pieces in here are pretty big. And the reason that they are big is so that uh, they can grasp it well, they can see the bigger picture as they're putting it together, and it engages you and allows you to have conversation while you're doing the puzzle together. The next item in our kit is a book called America. Now this book I have paged through and it is stunning. The pictures in here especially if the person that you care about has traveled or has maybe they've been in the service at one time or they uh, just loved to, to travel and did that throughout their life the pictures in here just are stunning of all different places in America and so don't hesitate just to pick up a book sometimes and just look at the pictures or even just reading to them out loud reading one of their favorite books or a book that you think they might enjoy is a great way to have an activity with them. The next item in our kit is Tony Bennett's, uh, one of his CDs, and he is so legendary. And music is a great way to engage with someone who has memory loss. Different senses that you can use when you are with someone that has memory loss or dementia, when you use and one of their senses, especially music is one, it takes you and if you close your eyes and you hear a song that you knew when you were younger, it takes you back to that moment in time or a great memory that you had. And so music is just an incredible opportunity to be able to have activities with someone. The next item in our 
in our backpack is aqua paint days out and I'm actually going to demonstrate that uh, just in a couple minutes here about how to use this so that's for someone who's artistic or even just high hand-eye coordination for you to uh, allow them a, an extra activity the last item in our in our kit is trains now I am someone who loves Europe and uh, I've traveled to Africa, so going different places throughout your life, there are things that you have seen, and this DVD collection is crazy amazing. So this is traveling all across the globe along with the world's most beautiful railways. So this is the view that you would get on a, a train. And so the different categories are China Steam, the East, North Central and South America, the Far East and Australia, Britain and Western Europe, and then Eastern Europe and Africa. So you could pick out the, the DVD in here, put it in, and hey, let's watch a movie. I, this is all about where you were. Let's, let's see if there's some place that you recognize. So I love it because it covers the entire world so that you can choose which one works best for you. All right, so we have our aqua paint set out. This one is called Days Out. Now, obviously, you can use this uh, at different times. You don't need to have all of them out, but I wanted to show you the different examples. So we have a sailboat, and we have the London Guard, and a hot air balloon, and a couple sitting on a lawn chair out on the beach, and then we have a couple dancing. So this is how easy this is to do. And that's why I think this is such a great activity within this kit. So I just got a little bit of water and I have just a simple paintbrush and you just get your brush wet. And then you're just going to brush just ever so gently. Doesn't even need to be difficult. If they have a very light touch, it's okay. And just as the water soaks in, you can see that the picture is gonna come through. And so that is how simple this is. If they don't finish, it's totally fine. If they want to do another one, you can do that right away. And you don't really have any other extra prep to do for it, but that's all it is, is just dipping right into the water and as you can see there's no runoff so I mean the the, the cleanup is going to be super easy and like I said if they become disinterested in it you can always just put it aside and come back to it if you want but I think for people who are very artistic this is a really great activity to do with them and that's how simple it is. Here at Dwight Foster Public Library, we have a couple books that I would like to share with you today. And just so that you know, activity books are medically recommended for intervention for memory impaired adults. And so this is something uh, near to our and dear to our heart. Uh, and so I wanted to share two books with you. The first book is called Through the Seasons, and this is by Dr. Cynthia Green. And in this book, is all different activities you can do throughout the year. And I picked out a few of them for you. The reason that I really thought this book was awesome was that there's a two page spread on every activity that you're doing. One page has the instructions and a picture. And then the other page on, on the two page spread has prompting recalls for you ways to talk about it, ways to engage with that activity. The first activity that I'd like to talk about and share with you from this book is called The Fall Reminds Me of School. And we're in fall right now, but talking about it and they give you all different tips for that. So as you can see, the, the spread is very nice. It has a great picture of it. So that's the fall one that I thought was really, really pretty cool in here. The next one was in winter. And this was 
making a no sew blanket. So the first one's bringing back memories. The second one is actually doing something um, physically with them, but also bringing back memories. The next one I wanted to share was for spring. And this one I thought was really neat. So hearing the birds on a spring morning makes me happy. So this one's all about different activities you can do that involve hearing the birds. So, you know, they talk about making a bird feeder, um, stringing together pretzels. So all different things that would help engage them with hearing birds by having the birds come around more and more. The next one is summer and making ice cream in a bag. Now, ice cream is super easy to make, but it is something that almost everybody remembers having from their childhood when it was on super hot days. So engaging in that conversation about ice cream. So through the, the seasons, activities for memory challenged adults and their caregivers by Cynthia Green would be a great item to check out from our library. The second item I wanted to share with you is the Dementia Handbook and Resource Guide. And this is by Gray House Publishing. And this book offers statistics both nationally and state by state. It has discussions about treatment and their outcomes, and it details 23 different types of dementia and conditions that can cause or affect dementia. So it has a great overall look at dementia and memory loss in adults. So those are the two books that I wanted to share with you today and they both can be checked out at Dwight Foster Public Library.